That was 50 damn minutes of story. All oh, right, cool. Can I do anything? Oh, hello. Nope, okay, I thought I could cook some more. Well, we're checking out the stores first. What we got? No, okay, well. Well, I've got a load of bomb points at least, so... Let's see. Still no? Alright. Item drop rate. Effect of healing items. I'll probably get that one next. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait for that one. Oh, so this is it. This is that Masamune statue Inari was going on and on about. He looks so cool. I bet he'd be cutting down shadows left and right if he were in a jail with us. Probably. Such remarkable craftsmanship. It's truly the one-eyed dragon in all his glory. What's up with them posters? Indeed. I should have expected as much from such an icon. We must come back during the day and... Hmm? The hell? What's all this about? Prince of Nightmares, Volume 1. 20th reissue celebration? Reissue celebration? So they're promoting a book? I doubt they got permission to do this. Maybe it's some kind of prank. What a reprehensible miscreant. Putting up such tasteless flyers for their own game. Let's take them down. <sighs> That's better. Well, you have to use good? Yes, now that I've seen the great Masamune, my apologies for taking so much of everyone's time. Let's move on. Alright, that's one item off the list. Next up, Beat Tongue Soup. <laughs> Let's see if these local flavors are enough to impress a sophisticated palate like mine. Yeah, sophisticated. Alright. It might be hard to get in if we bring a catalog. True. Just put them in the bag, no one will know. Mm. Holy shit! Is this for real? Mm. This meat is so thick, so soft. Damn, that's good. Ryuji, cut it out! You're spitting all over me! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think he's face crying over here. I don't even want to know what his regular diet is like if this is enough to make him cry. Either way, food's delicious. I think we know from the previous game it's shit. I have some too. I swear, you are the noisiest cat on the planet. Ask him to split some with you. You heard the dude? Too bad. Just gotta make do with the smell. Don't be such a pig! I'm hungry too, you know. Not so loud, you idiot! Is that a cat I hear? Oh shit! Am I hearing things? I could have sworn I heard a cat. What's with this this series and throwing goddamn scientists just haphazardly all over the place? <laughs> Why are we always running into scientists? Also, madam, what is that earring? What is that? Oh, uh, nope, not a real cat at least. Uh, we were just practicing our cat sounds. <laughs> right, Ryuji? Uh, meow? Oh, come on. You're not fooling anyone. Sounds to me like he's in the bag of the gentleman with the glasses. Oh, that's sweet. Are you going to share? You and your cat should partake in the finest beef tongue this restaurant has to offer. What? Jay, not so loud. Oops. Sorry, sorry.
sorry. You're right. You get thrown out, and no more beef tongue. She's not. She's not a smart for a scientist. The oxtail soup's to die for. Did you know oxtail soup is packed with collagen? A lot of people seem to think it's good for your skin. Let's go slightly. Let's go slightly hyper. <laughs> she's a hyper scientist. They say it's not as effective when ingested, but there's a fair number of reports that suggest otherwise. Human cognition can be quite misleading. You may think you feel a change when none has occurred. This is the placebo effect, and. Dude, she's just going on and on. Does she even notice us talking right now? This overwhelming onslaught of pointless info. We got ourselves a nerd, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry about, you know, the bag thing. Huh? What? Oh, you mean the cat? Don't worry. I won't tell the staff or anything. By the way, are you all students? <laughs> I mean, most of us are in high school. Two are in college. I see. So you'll be taking your college entrance exam soon. Decided on a university yet? Oh, forgive me. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Kuani Tinose. I work as a researcher over at Toho University. Hey, you guys should come check out the campus. It's way up in the mountains, but it's a lot of fun. Lots of bears this season, too. I want to point out this entire time, Yusuke has not stopped eating. <laughs> this entire time! He has not given this woman the time of day. <laughs> the bears? Oh, uh, you know, we kind of got something going on already, so we don't exactly got the time. I see, I see. Yes, well, it's important that you do what you want while you're still young. Allow me to impart a little treat till next we meet. Oh yeah, candy. Uh, sure. This girl was crazy. Well then, I've had my fill of beef tongue, so it's probably best if I get going. Farewell, young ones. This bitch is insane. So, uh, she was weirdly energetic, huh? Well, thankfully, we avoided getting in trouble. We should be grateful she didn't tell on us. Sorry, that was my fault. It was, cause you don't uh, shut up. I got you. Chan, we'll buy you some sasa kamaboko later. I mean the fish cake on the skewers with that nice layer of jar on top. Ooh, I can't wait. Nice. Oh my gosh. Oh, his latest work was just perfect. I was already it two nights in a row, if you can believe that. Speaking of which, I read in a magazine interview that he's going to be at the station today. There was no way I'm missing that. All right, let's finish eating. And quietly this time. Yes, ma'am. She's such a fucking mother. I can't get over that. She's literally the mum of the group. Yes. If they're offering free refills, then you can bet I'm ordering them. Accurate. You can eat the first bowl and focus exclusively on the glistening of the meat. Then the aroma on the next, and so on. Pretty sure that's just you. Well, I will say the food here certainly is delicious. Yeah. Good job, Sophia. It was, as they say, a piece of cake. Guess we should leave where we eat up to Sophia now, huh? What's going on over there? Natsume-san, your lady said she was just up me, like it's always. Natsume-san, over here. Can you please sign my copy? <laughs> Thank you for all your support. Whoa, hold on now. Only one autograph per person, please. He looks like a villain. <laughs> he looks like an anime villain. Look at this boy. Look at this boy, he looks like a goddamn villain. Oh, my apologies, but could the men please go to the back of the line? Ladies first, you see. What the hell's that? He looks pretty popular. I heard that woman say latest book. Does that mean he's a writer? Oh. Hello there. 
Are you looking for an autograph as well? Or perhaps a handshake? Huh? Um... Oh, how terribly rude of me to keep such lovely fans waiting. Please, accept this as a token of my apology, yes? Don't worry, I've already signed it. Um, okay. Listen, uh, we were just passing by. Ah, uh, is that so? It seems I got a little ahead of myself. Prince of Nightmares by Ango Natsume. Yours truly, Ango Natsume. It's a pleasure. Prince of Nightmares. That's the name from those flyers on the Masamune statue. My flyers on Masamune statue? Ah, I think I know what happened. That's most likely the work of some of my more zealous fans. I appreciate them promoting my work, but it appears they went overboard somewhat. Honestly, they can be a real handful sometimes. Allow me to apologize on their behalf. In exchange, allow me to offer you a kiss. No. no off, dude. Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? I'm glad for you just steps out like, nah, fuck this. This, nah, bro, come on, <laughs> come on, bro, fuck off. And who are you supposed to be? I believe I was addressing these lovely young ladies here. I thank you not to interrupt. Mm, sorry, but they're with us. You got a problem, you can always talk to me. <laughs> Ryuji's such a good boy. He is the goodest boy. Do you seriously think you can get away with speaking to me like that? Yes. <laughs> My, this one's got some backbone, doesn't he? Mr. Natsume, we need to get moving soon. Well then, it seems I must be going. I've a magazine interview to get to. To all those who have read my book, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Natsume! I love you! Oh, he's just so dreamy. I'll have to buy ten more copies tomorrow to show him just how much I care. Uh, who was that man? I don't know if he was some local big shot or whatever, but he sure was pissing me off. He was a strange one for sure, but the people around him seemed really happy. Why was that? Probably because he's a monarch. A bunch of weirdos. I must agree. He wasn't at all deserving of such praise, even in the form of flattery. Are you alright, Haru? Mm-hmm. I was just a little surprised is all. How did a jerk like him get so popular? It doesn't make any sense. Monarchs. There might be something else going on here. He could even be changing people's hearts. You mean, he's the monarch of the Sendai Jail? I find it so weird how none of you came to that conclusion. None of you came to that conclusion. You see a man, in a situation, exact same as Alice, and all of you are like, hmm, seems, seems odd. Let's not worry about that. <laughs> it's just one possibility. No, I, I think you might be onto something. If he's the monarch, then everything else totally makes sense. Huh. I got my laptop back at the RV. Should be able to dig something up from there. Hmm. Now can I now can I do shops? This is music. All right. No, we cannot do shopping. I would like to shop, but no. God damn it! Damn cat! Tell me to go sleep all over again! Alright, let's go over what we know so far. Sophia, you can confirm there's a jail here, correct? The smell 
got a lot stronger once we entered the city. So yes, I'm sure of it. And the man we met earlier, his name was Ango Natsume? I just did a quick search on him. Here's what came up. Ango Natsume, grandson to renowned writer Sogo Natsume. Currently a successful light novel author. Says the guy kicked off his career with his debut work, Prince of Nightmares, which won the grand prize in the Sokaisha Awards. This thing's selling stupidly well. It sold a million copies alone. A million? That's kind of nuts, right? Yeah, for someone's debut to hit numbers like that is nothing short of a miracle. I checked social media, and, well, this whole thing is kind of bizarre. Natsume's fans are probably going on some kind of rampage, right? There's a rumor that some people got beat within an inch of their lives, just because they were sort of dressed like Natsume's characters. Jesus. Right. The worst part is that no one stepped in to stop them. In fact, the attackers were praised for what they did. Nah, that's fucked up. are likely the same kinds of people who defile Masamune's statue with flyers. They clearly lack self-restraint. The fan at the station seemed really passionate, too. It was almost like they were part of a cult. I'm checking some of the online forums, and it looks like there's about a hundred threads created about this dude almost every day. And they're all positive. Not only that, but all of these IP addresses are from Sendai. That's crazy suspicious. This is definitely our guy then, right? That's true. We haven't determined his abilities as a writer yet. If he really is just some freakishly talented writer, then the jail here has nothing to do with him. And he earned all that praise, right? Yeah, I'm certain. But there's still a chance he's our monarch too, ain't there? That's what we're gonna find out. Tomorrow, we'll go into town and see what intel we can dig up. If he's the monarch, then there's a good chance we'll run into some victims who've had their hearts changed, just like in Shibuya. Oh yeah, we should probably let Inspector Gramps know too, huh? Probably. Good idea. He might be able to give us some other clues too. Okay, well, I guess we should all probably hit the hay. We've got a busy day tomorrow. So... Why the hell are we sleeping up top? Might as well be sleeping outside. Ain't it gonna be cramped? There's nothing we can do. There isn't enough room in the car. Besides, it's not as bad as you say. Back when there were more students at the atelier, it was quite normal for us to sleep huddled together due to lack of space. That's not okay. You always keep cool in the weirdest possible way. That's really not okay. Guys, are we really just gonna call it a night? Shouldn't we, like... I'll be playing cards till super late or stargazing or something? Ain't that the kind of shit we're supposed to do on a big trip like this? <sighs> sure, whatever. But, I mean, come on, dude. Somebody right here. Forget it, Ryuji. We're up early tomorrow anyway, so you'd better get some rest. Man, it's gonna be hot as hell with three of us and Morgana, ain't it? Very true. That fur certainly won't help things either. What do you want from me? I can't help that I'm a cat. Not that I'm actually a cat, though. Guys, shut up. Shit. Sorry. <laughs> the vibration fucking scared me for a second there. <laughs> I was not expecting that. This, this. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, yeah, big bonds. Sleeping together, it builds character. <laughs> Yeah. 
now I can shop. Yeah, yeah, investigation. Yeah, about that. Nah. I can see the uses, but nah. Oh yeah. Take again. Some recipes can be sold in local shops. Alright. If you miss any recipes, it's still possible to buy them from Sophia's online shop. However, uh, be aware that obtaining them this way will be much more expensive. Ooh, okay. Yeah, look at 20 grand. Fuck, Jesus. Is that all? Thanks a bundle. What a coincidence. What in heaven? Is that all? Thanks a bundle. Oh, that's good. Thanks a bundle. Please come back soon. All right, so anyone? Anyone? Mm, I see. No one. Nope, alright. Oh, oh no, we can just keep going this way, okay. I gate. I didn't think this area was as big as it is. Okay. I could have just teleported over. Alright, well, now I know. Hey, Lavenza! No? Oh, okay, yeah. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Awaken your new self. I can get a high pixie. It seems that it can gain new power. Slime and succubus. What? You wish to browse? What will you? Would you like to? What does uh, slime and succubus give me? This persona has been registered in its present condition. You wish to browse? Please take a look. You wish to strengthen it? You wish to strengthen it? A circle slap. Oh, no. Circle Slap, Evil Touch, Never Dizzy, Dakunda, and Garu. And Succubus gives me. Mount Cohen. Alright. How much power will you add? This is what. Okay. Okay. No abilities cause. Oh, no, that causes rage. Alright. Mostly interested in that. You wish to browse the what will you be registering? Will you register the This persona has been registered in Awaken. It seems that it can gain new power. Free skills. Okay, what would I like to take over? Uh No brainwash.
Gun. The Kundo or that? Yeah, well, let's get Kunda and that. We can leave the gun. Be born anew. And that opened up. Nothing new. All right, well, cool. May luck be on your side. I could probably get slime back, but air will wait. Yo! Yeah, I, I, I don't know if I follow that either. <laughs> All right. Hey. All right. Oh, what, 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 what? Okay. You right? She right? Never not buy SP. <laughs> Never not buy SP. Twenty SP. Okay. This please take this. I shall await your return. Twenty. Twenty SP. Oh, fucking give that to me. Who has the lowest HP? Morgana. <laughs> hmm. Alright, cool. Something is amiss. Could be useful. Welcome. 20 to all allies, nice. I'm seeing an uptick in usefulness. Take it. <laughs> I will take it. Any hello.
Bye. Don't feel like there was a whole lot to go on there, but I'll take it. Yeah, why did we bring her? Give out his key word for Emma and change everyone's hearts like Alice did? We should keep an eye on him for now. Um, Natsume san, I just wanted to say thank you for putting out such wonderful work all the time. I was so touched by your book. I ended up buying 50 copies. Bruh. Yeah, well, I bought a hundred. Some to read, some to collect, some to give out, some to. My goodness. Thank you. I'm flattered. Reading your book somehow gives me hope, courage to keep going. I won't rest until each and every one of my friends knows about your book. Well, I have said that I want my book to reach as many people as possible. I can't help but feel guilty, though. Be sure you don't overdo it. No, it's okay. I'm helping you because I want to. I heard the reason he started writing novels was for this poor girl who's bedridden in the hospital. Supposedly, he wanted her to keep fighting so she could one day see him finish his novel. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. He's just so compassionate. It's like he's a saint. I know, that story alone's enough to make me cry. I guess even real life is like a novel sometimes. We have to tell the whole world about Ango Natsume's good deeds. I'd expected as much, but he's really popular. Do you think that bit about the girl in the hospital is for real? Dude didn't seem like the type, if you ask me. I don't think Natsume said anything resembling a queen would. Could it be because he really isn't a monarch? Or perhaps he's just being careful. If he is the monarch, maybe everyone here's already had their hearts changed. Meaning he wouldn't need to give out his keyword. Hey, Nari. What's that you've been reading? Ango Natsume's novel, Prince of Nightmares. Nari? You actually bought that thing? Yes, I suppose that's fine. I was just curious as to whether or not the book was truly deserving of the fervent praise it's received. It's trash, isn't it? How is it's it? It's trash. Good? How should I put it? For any creative work, one should be able to feel some sense of its creator's passion. No matter how crude or unrefined the work may be, there should always be some sort of spark present to those engaging with it. I'm not terribly well versed in the literary arts, but I feel nothing when reading this book. The sentences are formed well enough, but what's here is shockingly hollow. It's as if these words have been taken from someone else and given the most bare minimum coat of paint possible. Let me see. Oh, wow. This line here is lifted from an anime from two years ago. Uh, the words got changed a bit, but that's definitely it. Sneaky. I think I've seen the original writers, or worse, their fans, ever saw this. There'd be a freaking riot online. I can't possibly fathom how such a fraudulent piece of work garnered this much praise. That is, unless the fans had their desires stolen. All that we know now. Safe to say there's definitely something going on here. If only we knew the keyword, we can investigate the jail for ourselves. Think we should ask some of his fans? They've all had their desires taken, right? <sighs> if this is anything like the situation in Shibuya, I doubt they'll tell us anything. Guess we're kind of stuck then. Have we heard anything from Gramps yet? He said he'd be here by tonight. Maybe he learned something. All right then. I guess we should go ahead and wait for Inspector Hasegawa then. Hold on. Why do you think Natsume wrote this novel? What's up, bruh? It's 
I'm gonna go ahead and say probably because he's tired of living in his grandfather's shadow despite being a trash writer. Wouldn't make much sense if that weren't the case. No matter how much praise your work receives, if it was built on the backs of others, then you cannot truly call that praise your own. Those compliments will surely ring empty. Anyone in the arts should know this. That is why I don't understand. What was he thinking when he wrote this novel? What are you two doing? Let's get going. My apologies. It wasn't my intention to hold you up. Let's be off. I still reckon it's because he was tired of his work being unappreciated. Because it's trash. He's got to live up to his grandfather. Who's a legend. Pretty nice ride you've got here. And I gotta say, I didn't expect Sendai to be on the agenda. How'd you know there was a jail here? Well, about that... I smelled it. Hmm... You smelled it? He just accepts the AI. Anyways... Have you learned anything new? Ah, yes. Ango Natsume. Right? Yeah... He's suspicious alright. His book's been selling like crazy, but only here in Sendai. Most of the other stuff I've heard lines up with what you guys told me. Anyhow, I did some asking around, and here's what I found. Apparently, everyone in Atsume's little fan club becomes friends with him through Emma. And once that happens, they start buying his book any and every chance they get. Some even go into debt because of it. Any of this sound familiar? It's just like what happened with Alice. He might have different methods from Alice Hiragi, but I'm almost certain Natsume's using the same power. Well, in that case, we really need to get our hands on his keyword. Can't we just nab the shithead and make him cough it up? Ugh, do that? And I would have to arrest you for assault. You can ramble on about the jails all you want. Best case scenario is you getting dragged off to a mental institution. Ah, right. Well, we're phantom thieves, so going at it directly is not preferred anyway. Ah, there goes Beauty Thief. Always trying to be elegant and subtle and stuff. Beauty what? Don't worry about it. My name is Beauty Thief. I see. She's really calling herself that? Yeah, don't worry Getting about it. Back on track. We gotta think of a way to get that keyword. That's where I come in. You better thank me for this later. For what? Natsume's holding a party tonight in celebration of Prince of Nightmares passing over a million in sales. And I just happen to have enough invitations for all of you. Which means... We're crashing a party? Hey, that sounds fun as hell! Don't you think? That's not why we're doing it, but yeah! Right, and if it's invite only, there's a chance security will be light as well. So, what do you think? Glad we struck a deal? You did pretty good, Gramps. Yeah, nice one, Gramps. I must admit, I'm seeing you in a whole new light, Gramps. He's not that old. You really came through, Gramps. I knew we could count on you, Gramps, son. Come on, guys. At least call me by my name. Don't feel bad, Gramps. Oh, God. <laughs> Even she's doing it. Okay. Again, though, he's not that old. At least I don't look that old. Thank you much for coming today. This is just a small token of my appreciation. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoy yourselves. Congratulations, Mr. Natsume. Truly. It's all thanks to everyone working so hard to push sales. All I did was right. <laughs> oh, you're too modest. It really is impressive how well you've done, considering the amount of competition there is these days. But I know we tried to promote you early on as the grandson of renowned writer Sogo Natsume, but uh, I, I never would have expected you to perform this well. <laughs> the praise you've received is due entirely to your talent, Mr. Natsume. You're a shining star to readers and authors alike. My talent, you say? <laughs> well now, I wouldn't go as far as to say that. The words on the page matter little. If there's something worth talking about, the people will always flock to it. From there, all one needs to do is craft a little story into it. And voila! For example, 
take that origin story about how I started writing because of some poor girl in the hospital. Pardon my asking, but is that story really true, Mr. Natsume? <laughs> I'm afraid that's my little secret. Truth? Fiction? Does anyone really care? You might recall Ichiryu Saimadorame's confession on TV not too long ago. Surely you remember. I want to point out, if someone asks you a question if something's true or not, and you go, truth, fiction, does it matter? You're basically just outright saying you're lying. <laughs> That's just outright admitting to lying. This signature piece, what was the name of it? Oh, you mean the Sayuri. Ah, yes, that's it. The Sayuri. That piece was certainly lauded as the pinnacle of beauty at the time. But if you ask me, the only place it belongs now is the trash. He gon- he gon' get- he gon' get- Oh. Oh, hands gon' get thrown. Hands about to get thrown. I know how you feel, but... I'm alright. He's been rather calm about this. I have a favor to ask. Would you mind if I handled this one? I promise yeah, sure. I'll get the key word from him. But... There's a been pretty calm about this. remembers your faces from the other day. However, I was toward the back of the crowd. So there's a good chance he won't recognize me. Right. Yusuke might be our best bet here. Good luck! Thank you. I'll be off then. Pardon me for interrupting. I happen to be a big fan of yours, Natsume-san. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, who are you? Forgive me. I was hoping I might trouble you for an autograph. Hey! Mr. Natsume is a busy man. You can trouble him later. <laughs> Come now. I'm sure one autograph won't hurt. <laughs> you mean it. My thanks, Natsume-san. You're too kind. Such a douche. <laughs> to receive an autograph from the great Ongo Natsume himself. This honor is truly more than I deserve. Nonsense. Don't sell yourself short. It's readers like you who allow authors like me to keep writing. I see. That's a wonderful way to look at it. Oh, right. Do you by any chance use Emma, Natsume-san? Of course. With how convenient it is, how could I not? If you don't mind, could you please add me to your friends list? It would be a privilege to be closer to one I respect so greatly. <laughs> not at all. My fans and readers mean the world to me. The key word is Prince of Nightmares. Thank you very much. Expect a request from me sometime soon. Now, there is one more thing. I overheard you and your entourage mention the Sayuri earlier. If I'm not mistaken, you said it should be thrown out with the trash. As though it were some cheap attempt. Ah, so you heard that, did you? Is that what I said? Well, I take it someone of your taste agrees with me? In the end, that painting only held value because of whose name was attached to it. Madarame had it. The Sayuri was painted by my mother. <laughs> This may be unprofessional of me, but professionalism be damned. My mother painted the Sayori at the cost of her own life. It is her final masterpiece. That painting was crafted with a love that simply cannot be found anywhere else. Don't you dare lump it in with that soulless drivel you've cobbled together from authors far more talented than you. <laughs> hey, you can't... I merely spoke the truth. Now, if you'll excuse me. We've got what we came for. Let's head outside, yes? This boy. This boy. Yusuke, a good boy. <laughs> I was expecting him to slap a bitch, but no, okay. <laughs> He's clearly more mature than me. I would have thrown hands. Something because he's jealous of your genius. Don't let him get to you. Shut up! Uh. <laughs> no matter. 
He'll come around just like the rest. My apologies. I couldn't hold myself back. I suppose I still have much to learn. You held yourself back pretty damn well. Yeah. I can't say my assessment of his book was entirely correct. Whatever someone feels from a work of art, no matter what that work may be, ultimately comes down to the individual. Yeah, well, for what it's worth, we all love seeing you stick it to that creepy Nari. In any case, we've got the keyword now. All that's left is to find our entry point. Sendai Station would be a good place to look. Hmm? How come? The smell isn't as strong there. The security's probably more lax. The station should be a safe point of entry, just like in Shibuya. So I guess we're doing it then. Yeah, we've got everything we need. Tomorrow, that jail's getting a visit from the Phantom Thieves. Oh yeah. Hang on. First, first dungeon tight. There's something I wanted to ask you. Hang on. First dungeon tied to Arn, second dungeon tied to Yusuke. Are we... Are we just redoing? <laughs> is the next one going to be going to be important to Makoto in some way? If it is, then I... Yusuke might have been acting calm just now. But he seemed rather sad. Why yeah. You trying to save face? disrespect something important to you it makes you more sad than angry yeah it can be a combination at the very least Yusuke seemed to feel that way I think I'm starting to understand him a little better now thank you for explaining that to me you're welcome ah oh, yeah hey Levens what up I've been waiting for the desires in this place have been stolen as well. The voices of countless hearts are stirring about. At the same time, I can feel the threat of the calamity is only growing stronger. I have called you here to deliver important news. Where's Eagle? The ones you have forged will now impart an even greater power to your personas. This new power, it seems it was born from a connection you've made during your travels. This will become the sustenance that will further nurture your potential. Cherish it dearly. <laughs> I admit I'm somewhat jealous. There is no doubt that they will give you the strength needed to cut through fate. Oh. Oh. Eh. Okay. Okay. I like that. May luck be on your side. I might have to invest in those. I may have to invest in those. excited last night I couldn't sleep what you think it's Christmas morning or something any idea how big this place is can you tell Sophia based on the smell I'd say it covers nearly all of Sendai that's quite big considering what's happening throughout the city the scale makes sense but that's all coming to an end right we're heading into the Sendai jail Okay, but I'm a I'm a not <laughs> I'm a not because I want to sell some stuff first. I want to sell some stuff and do shopping again. So I'm a give me a sec. Uh, 